Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. All right, boys, in today's video, we're gonna be changing the look on the STI. Now, we're gonna be putting a little bit of tail light tint on the Subi. As you guys saw on the previous video, we did went ahead and took most of the things that we're gonna be painting out of the Subi. We still gotta take out the two fenders. And then we also gotta take out the trunk because we are gonna be repainting this. So we gotta be able to address the rust that's on there. But yeah, boys, today we are gonna be working specifically on the tail lights. My right tail light bulb has been uh, not functioning, so it, the brake light hasn't been working really that well. So today we're gonna be addressing that. Uh, while we're taking the whole tail light out and replacing every single bulb that's back there, we're just gonna go ahead and slap the tint in there as well. That's the tail light right there, and on the reverse part on that tail light, we are gonna be putting this tint on there. I got this from Premium Auto Styling. Uh, I forgot how much it was, but it was around 15 to 20 bucks. But it should be a good change to the Subi. Like I said, we're gonna be replacing every single light bulb on here. So yeah, it's gonna look pretty dope because I know every time that I go to a car meet and I leave the lights on, there's always the right one that's not functioning right. It's always a little bit embarrassing having those small details not working. So today we're gonna be addressing all of that. And also order these tail light gaskets that are gonna be for the left and the right. This is basically so no water can get inside the tail lights. That's the main reason why they haven't been functioning. Because every time it rains, the water just comes straight here and then it goes inside the light bulbs and it just makes them go bad. So hopefully with these new gaskets we solve that issue. Because I do know it's not because the silicone isn't on there right. Everything seems to be sealed. The only issue that I can figure out is that these gaskets are just done for and unfunctional because they are cracked they don't even seal anymore in my opinion so hopefully it's a game changer if it's not then we're gonna have to figure out why there's still water going in there but i feel like changing the gaskets out will be able to solve that so yeah i don't know how far we're gonna get in today's video but hopefully we're able to finish both tail light tints and we're also able to remove the two side fenders and the trunk all right, boys, I went ahead and put everything that we're going to be using today right here. This is going to be where we're going to be working on the tail lights. So this one, we haven't really done anything to it. But as you guys can see, this is going to be the tail light that we're going to be working on today. This is going to be the back right tail light. It still has a lot of water in there, as you guys can see. The gaskets have been given out. The light bulb that we're going to be addressing today is going to be that one right there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's burnt out and it doesn't even work at all. So that's why we're going to be replacing them. But I just want you guys to check out how they are before we do anything to them. On the back, I haven't removed any of the wiring or gaskets. We're still going to go ahead and take care of that. But for the left tail light, we already ran ahead and took out all the water, all the oxidation on the inside. And we also went ahead and removed the gasket. We took out all of the remaining gasket that was stuck on here. But this is how it's supposed to look once we're all done drying it and removing all the oxidation and water from the inside. So the first step that we're going to be doing to remove these tail lights is really simple. We're going to go ahead and disconnect all of the tail light bulbs. I might go ahead and just take out the gasket first, actually, just because it is going to get in the way. As you guys can see, it's breaking apart. So I don't know if these ever got replaced throughout its lifetime, but we're, we're going to be changing them out right now. So this is going to be the old gasket right here. As you guys can see, she is all done. But the next step is we're just going to go ahead and start taking off the bolts. All you got to do is really simple. All you got to do is twist to the left and it should open come out once you twist to the left you should be able to pop these right out looks like this one stuck a little more though all right there we go now we got all of the light bulbs out now the next step, you see the car tail light is full of water. So we got to make sure we address that first. Just going to go ahead and try and dump all of the water out. 
You guys can see she was full of water. All right, so we got most of the water out and just by taking it out, you guys can see how clear it's getting. I'm pretty sure the water was filled up to here. So we're basically just gonna put it in the box so that it vaporizes all the water as quick as possible. All right, so this is the box that we're gonna be using today. Like I said, all we're gonna do is place the light inside of there. And we're gonna place it with the holes facing the blow dryer so that we can get more air in there. So this is gonna be the blow dryer I'm using today. I'm just gonna stick it in here, let it hang like that. And then I'm gonna close the top, oops. But I'm basically just gonna close the top and then turn it on so that we can heat up the inside as good as possible. Well, she is now all dried up. As you guys can see, there's no more water in there. Now the next step is we're going to be replacing every single one of these bulbs. Some of them are fried as you guys can see just because some water gets in there because like I said the gasket that was on there is pretty bad. Speaking of the old gasket we still got to remove this old gasket. So I'm just going to spray with WD-40 to remove all that stickiness. And then once I do that, I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of acetone to dry it off. And then we'll go from there. By the way, boys, Aisha is here with me as well. Shout out to her for bringing me the Sprite. She's always bringing me drinks. <laughs> Shout out to her. But are you excited? Yes. You should be. The Fitsubi is finally going to have lights and intent. Can I take this off? I'm going to use... WD-40 to take it off. I'm just going to spray it on here. Or I sh I sh well, I'm just going to go over the small spots. And you guys can see it takes it right out of there. And then that's the only part here that had it. And now this one's going to take it a bit longer. All right, now that we got all of that out, I'm going to be using some acetone to basically rip all of that oil, oils, all of those oils on there. boys now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the new light bulbs in there it's really simple on the suvi boys all we gotta do is follow the bulb number that's indicated on the car itself so if you guys can read right there it says 7443 so then when you buy one at the auto shop what you gotta look for is the bulb size right there which is 7443 and then this one's basically going to go in here. This one is a 7443 as well. So that one's going to go here. And then we got a 7440. And you're just going to carry on until you basically replace every single one of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick. I'm just going to pop it out. I'm going to pop the new one in there. So now we're gonna assemble it back on here. It's really simple. Put them in there and then twist to the right. All right, there we go. This place right here so that you're able to like store all the wire and I'm not gonna put that on there right now because I gotta connect it to the car. And then the previous owner also broke off the thing connected to the tail light as you guys can see. It's not that big of a deal, but if none of these tail lights work, I'm just gonna end up replacing this whole thing. All right, so we're gonna connect it to the Scooby now. This is the right side, so we're gonna connect it to the right side here. Just like that, it should be on. All right, you wanna go ahead and turn on the car? All right, use the right signal so that it works. You remember how to go in reverse? Yeah. Turn on the lights, actually. 
Oh, they turned on. Oh, perfect. Now break. Can they go? Yeah. Oh, they all work. Really? Yeah. Can I see how they look? Yeah, come back here. Okay. Damn, they're all working. So go ahead. I'm going to turn it on for you now. All right. Okay, so now that we know that every single bulb is where it's supposed to be and that everything is working, the next step is we're going to go ahead and put the new gasket in there. The reason that we're replacing this is because this is the the reason that's causing all the water to get inside of here to basically like haze up and fill up the tub with water. So hopefully this doesn't hopefully this solves that problem because every time i wash the car i do not want to have to be worried about any water getting in here and having to replace these again so we're just going to go ahead and put that on there right now so this is the new one so all that we're going to do is remove the sticker so now we're going to put this in there you got to get all of these in there So I'm just gonna like close it from where it's sticky. This side. Just like that. Alright. So now that we got the gasket back in there and everything looks fine. Uh, now we're gonna change the look of the Subi's tail light. We're gonna be putting a tint over the uh tail light right here. So this is the first time I'm ever going to do this kind of thing. So I'm kind of excited. I'm going to be using this tail light tint, like I said on there. I don't know what percent it is, but we're going to spray this whole part with water. And then we're going to put this over there and we're going to try and squeegee all of the water out. So I'm just going to go ahead and try that right now. Okay, boys so this is what the finished product looks like it honestly looks way better than i thought it was gonna look when i bought the subi i saw a dude who had one of these on there and i knew i had to get it once i had the subi but all in its time and now it's in here looking crispy shout out to premium auto styling So this is how the card looks with the tent. In my opinion, it does look pretty dope, guys. It's going to look so dope at night. And then I also have the parent wing stabilizers. And they're going to look so dope once they're together. But that's what the finished product looks like. Go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and turn on the right signal. Go ahead and break go ahead and go in reverse Ooh. but all you guys really needed was this hair blower the squeegee that i got for premium auto styling to make this a little bit simpler so it has like i said the gasket back on there on the back so that's looking pretty dope as well I was gonna try and paint the plastic back here, but it was a little—it's it was a little—it was doing a little bit too much. But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications to see when I upload more. She's slowly coming together, but she'll get there soon. And as always, stay tuned.